Hey everybody, it's breakfast with Louie this morning. First day, uh, day after of getting my uh, China virus shot. My uh, vaccination. I got vaccinated yesterday. For the China virus. Hopefully I don't get the China virus now. Bacon, egg, sweet baby Ray barbecue sauce sandwich. Mm-hmm. Gotta have a good breakfast this morning. We're going out to the woods. Cut some sugar woods there. Mm-hmm. Last week, uh, a week ago today, I got my uh, Rituxin chemo. My chemo, Rituxin ab. Did pretty good on that. Was a little sick here for the first two, three days, but bad headache. Like always, but getting over it now. Got vaccinated yesterday. Having a good breakfast today. Take the tractor out and work it today a little bit. Might be able to get some video of that later. Hopefully. I got my winch all back together. Having a little V8 mango. Antioxidants. It's supposed to be good for you. We'll see how good it is. Mm. Good homemade bacon. Smoke it myself. Good stuff. Pork belly bacon. Mm. Nothing better than pork belly bacon. Mm. This is good stuff, guys. The inauguration's tomorrow. That ought to be an event. We'll see what happens there. It should go off without a hitch with all that. With all the... With all the... National Guards that they have there. I hear they get a lot of National Guards up to like 30,000 or something. Crazy number. That's a lot of National Guards. Why would we need that much? If this was an, was an election that wasn't stolen from the American people, why would we need that many National Guards there? If we the people voted Beijing Biden in, then why do we need 30,000 National Guards? Men at the white at the White House. That's what I like to know. Or at the inauguration. Hmm. That's a thing you might want to ask yourself. If the American people had a say, why do they need thirty thousand National Guards? Armed guards at that. Armed guards. At the inauguration. That's the question I pose. If it was fair. And people as spoken. As they say that we have. Nothing to see here. No collusion. No. No nothing. 
then why do they have 30,000 troops on the ground, armed troops, protecting people? As they say, protecting people. This is the first time in history that we've had to have this happen. 30,000 troops. They must be really scared of something. I don't know, folks, but that's what I'd be asking myself. And that's what I ask myself. Hmm. I won't be on there. I won't be doing nothing because I'm a coward. I don't like uh, I don't like con. I don't like going after people or fighting or any of that stuff. But it's just that it's kind of weird. If it was a fair and legal election, no collusion, no fraud, no nothing, then why is there 30,000 troops on the ground? Keeping the American people away. I pose that question. Piece of egg. Mm. Good stuff, folks. Good stuff. Just food for thought. That's what I was thinking. Keeps me up at night thinking about that. If it's a fair election, why is there 30,000 troops? Deployed armed troops keeping the American people out. And why are they trying to shut everybody up? If you do not agree with them, they're going to shut you up. Kind of weird. Mm-hmm. Kind of weird. Not saying that it's right or wrong. I'm just saying it's kind of weird. It's a weird situation. Of course, this whole thing is a weird situation. The China virus coming at this time, you know. Some people say that the China virus is a setup. To steal the election. If you want to go Ray right. I think there's unanswered questions that should be answered. And shutting people up. Is not going to unify or unite the, na the nation. Or make anybody want believe that there wasn't corruption. You gotta prove that there's not corruption. We've already proved that there is corruption. I mean, they got affidavits up the yin yang that can prove it. So, disprove it. Nobody wants to disprove it. It seems like they just want to shut everybody up. I think that's kind of odd. Let me know what you think in the comments below about this uh, world that we live in. I'm all done breakfast. I got to get to the woods. We got to get the sugar house set up. We got to get sugar wood in for next year. We got a lot of stuff to do. And let me know what you're doing on your agenda for today. Let's hear what your stories are. And then let's hear how you think about this election. Why is there armed troops in the White House? 
before Inauguration Day. It's nothing out of the ordinary was happening. I'm a little scared for us. I'm scared for my kids. Uh, I'm scared a lot. But I live in Vermont where it's usually quiet and hopefully it stays that way. And I am not going nowhere and I am not doing anything. So I probably shouldn't be even talking about it because it ain't like I'm going to change anything. Thanks a lot, folks. Just what's on my mind. And I just can't figure out why we have so many armed troops if everything's on the up and up. I mean, we didn't have this when Trump was inaugurated. Think about that. Thanks a lot for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Share the video if you like it. And if you don't, don't share it. If you don't like me, shut me off. Thanks a lot for watching. Louie.